tonight, £1 million in used banknotes was picked up from a vault in a secret location. An armour-plated vehicle transferred the money to our secure set. Guards are present and monitoring the money at all times. The studio audience have been screened and identified before being admitted. Their bags and mobiles have been confiscated. And now someone has the chance to walk away with a million pounds, absolutely live, in the next hour. This is the million pound drop, live. So it is 10.02 and I am talking to you absolutely live from an extremely secure location. There's security everywhere and it's all because of this. 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 I want to lie on it. This, this is one million pounds in cash. Real cash. Look, I've made a mess now. In used banknotes. And I am about to hand the whole lot over to someone. And only eight questions will stand in their way of winning it. OK, we're live over the next six nights as a series of contestants try their very best to take that money home. And as we're live, you at home can play along with every single question on the show. How brilliant. So go to our website now, channel4.com forward slash drop, and we'll update you as to how you're doing all along the way as the show goes on. So first up to face the million pound drop are Zoe and Lisa from Manchester. <laughs> Zoe is 32 and Lisa is 30. They're sisters from Manchester and Zoe's a social worker and Lisa is an admin assistant. Uh, hi. Oh hi, Zoe. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Quite excited, I can oh, see. A little bit. <laughs> there is a million pounds. Oh. It's a bit messy now. It's yours. Sorry. It's yeah. yours. Yeah, can we go now? If you, no, you've got to get through eight questions, but you've already touched it. feels quite <gasps> nice, doesn't Very it? Good. Oh, Very nice. And look, 25 grand. One watch. Oh, thanks. 20, no, <laughs> not yet. You've got to earn it. Now, listen. Zoe and Lisa, this is where you play the game, right? So each one of these drops represents an answer but only one is the correct answer. You've got to gamble all of your money on every single question. Now, you can spread your money over several of the drops, but you must always keep one drop clear. Put your money on the wrong drop, and this happens. <laughs> ah! So it goes all the way down there. I love this. That's very panto. The audience booed. Goes down there. <laughs> security guard picks it up. So you don't want it to go down the drop. It's that simple. Right. Oh, Everybody ready? No. Online yes. players? Are you ready to play? OK, so it is 10.05 p.m. You've got one million pounds. No! Oh, no! Stop it. <laughs> I've got eight questions. Let's all play the million pound drop. <laughs> This is question one of eight. Oh. Choose your category. Oh. You've got animals or celebrities. You read heat. We've got to do celebrities. <sighs> Not that I'm into gossip. Is that enough? Ooh. Maybe. Well, the sun as well. I watched David <laughs> Attenborough. <laughs> mm. OK, decision, please. Celebrities. Celebrities. Yeah. Celebrities. Celebrities. It is. OK, so let's see the answers to that question. They are... Kylie and Danny Minogue. Peaches and Pixie Geldof. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Zoe and Lisa Thomas. That's, That's you guys. And the question is this Which of these pairs of sisters has the highest combined age total? Come on. This is worse. Not all. Not all. Surely not. <laughs> Surely not. Um, how old's Kylie's quite old? Kylie's 
OK, so we're live. Done 36. And in a moment, the countdown's going to start. The countdown's already started. Oh, right. So yeah, you've got a minute to place Mary your money. Kate and Ashley Alton are only in the 20s. Yeah, yeah. Um, with 30. So are Peaches and Pixie Gal. How old's Danny Minogue? Danny's 30, 36. I think £1 million and Kylie, Kylie Danny. Danny. Let's, Let's go for it. it. So you're going to be brave. Oh. Come on, cheer <laughs> us. <laughs> Guys. That is a brave if this move. Is wrong. Are you a million pounds sure? Yeah. yeah, we'll give it. <laughs> Let's go for it. That is the way to play this game. If you want to get through to the eighth question, you've got to be bold. If you think you know the right answer, don't all fit, do But know. is it the right answer? <laughs> that is the question. I hope so. Otherwise, yeah, we're out. <laughs> See ya. You've got 15 seconds left. Oh, oh no! It's a slight oh, problem, oh. isn't it? <laughs> The just, yeah. <laughs> just pocket one or two, is that all right? No. Zoe, you can't pocket any. Sure. OK, that's time. I think we can understand. <laughs> Sorry. We can understand if that... Yes, let me just put that up there. If it's not this, no. So, oh, no, God. You I understand that you have that. put your whole million pounds. You could be our shortest ever... We could. Millionaires. Yeah. Our first ever contestants. Oh, we're millionaires. Lose a millionaire on their first... Go. Well, but anyway, which wouldn't. of these pairs of sisters has yeah. the highest combined yeah, age total? So we've got Zoe and Lisa Thomas, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, Peaches and Pixie Geldof. You've left all of those three, and you have put your whole million pounds on Kylie and Danny Minogue. <gasps> so let's reveal the first answer to draw. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Peaches and Pixie Geldof. Of 40. Oh, I know, it makes you sick, doesn't it? Makes you sick. Still feeling quietly confident? Oh. Yeah. Should we have a look at the next answer yeah. to drop? Let's. Let's. Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. Oh. With their combined age of 40, darling. <laughs> You're looking quite, quite happy yeah. there. Yeah. So it's all or nothing. A million pounds on Kylie and Danny, nothing on you and me. So let's reveal the final answer to drop. <laughs> God, please don't. Together, you made 62. Oh. Oh, I don't want to reveal your ages. I don't want to reveal your ages. That would be mean, wouldn't it? She's so, <laughs> seven questions to go and one million pounds still in play. That is the way you must play this game. If you want to get to question eight with as much money as possible, you've got to be brave. OK, it's time now for question two of eight. Choose your category. Oh. Football or weather? You both grimaced at football. No, there, it's, <laughs> got, it's, got, it's got to be the weather, hasn't you it? Reckon? Oh, I reckon. Yeah. I don't know anything about the weather. I don't know either. anything about football. Oh. Weather? Weather. Weather. Weather it is. It's going to be good. OK, so the answers to the weather question oh, are this. Copenhagen, Denmark. Cairo, Egypt. Cancun, Mexico. Cardiff, UK. The question is, in which of these cities is it currently a sweltering 30 degrees Celsius? Is that like now, this second? Right now, oh. this very second. It's hot here, but So yeah. it is. Well, I reckon it's not Cardiff, so we can eliminate that one. What time is it? What month is it? It is May. 10, 11, and uh, we're live. And this is a question When's that really we could only ask right now. But When's it's rainy what season in Mexico? Um, temperature is it early. right now? S summer. Summer. But it's still hot I, though. I reckon it's either Egypt or Mexico. 50-50. I'm leaning towards Egypt. 
Cairo is. Are there ones that you can? Yeah, I'm saying not. Absolutely, say not to. We'll you start need to start moving your money because oh, you've only got 30 not? seconds left from now. Do you know what do you think? Do you, it's more money time. Oh, let's go, hearts. What should we put on here? In which of these cities is it currently a sweltering 30 degrees Celsius? That's right now. Cancun's pretty bad. You've got to move your money. There's only fi under 15 seconds now. Ooh. What are we doing? 50-50? Oh, You've one got one. to move your money. So it looks even. Seven seconds. <laughs> there was a lot of last minute moving there, Zoe. What yeah. were you thinking? Yeah, I was just thinking, I'm thinking, when I was in Egypt, it was really hot. And we went, when did we go? Was it May? May, yeah. We went in May and it was about 100 then, wasn't it? You couldn't sit out after 11. Yeah. Now, because you put it on two uh, oh. drops yeah. here, I'm going to have to oh. go and actually physically count the money, I'm oh. afraid. But, so the question was, in which of these cities is it currently, oh. that's right now, a sweltering 30 degrees Celsius. So you left the Cardiff, uh, the Cardiff, Cardiff and Copenhagen in Denmark free, and you have put. Um, so that is one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred and seventy-five thousand on Cancun, Mexico. So that leaves uh, six hundred and twenty-five thousand on Cairo in Egypt. So you put the vast majority of your money on Cairo in Egypt. That was based on a holiday. Yeah. Great. Um, shall we reveal Denmark the first now. answer to drop? <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh. I'm going to... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if I can... Oh, Cardiff. Oh. 16 degrees Celsius in Cardiff, which is still pretty hot. Pretty hot. Do you know, the funny thing is, we're hoping that you're going to lose £375,000. Yeah. I know. Oh, that's that's an enormous that. amount of money. But let's see. Let's see the second answer to drop. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's 11 degrees Celsius in oh, uh, Copenhagen in Denmark right now. I'm so sorry to have to tell you oh, this, oh, but we've got to take a break. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah, hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. We're going to reveal the answer live in about four minutes' time. <laughs> Pound drop live. It is 10.18 and it's all about this. Real cash in used banknotes and it's just waiting to be won by Zoe and Lisa tonight. They were both just earlier like sisters just standing there with their hands exactly the same. Now, do you think that you can do any better than these two? Do you? Well, you could be standing right <laughs> here playing for a million pounds later this week. So go to our website now for details. Channel4.com forward slash drop. Now, before the break, Zoe and Lisa split their money on the following question, and that is, in which of these countries is it currently the hottest? Um, and 49% of online players put their money on Cancun, so slightly more. They did split their money as well, but slightly more people put their money on Cancun, with 46% putting their money on Cairo. So, how are you feeling now? Oh, nervous. Very nervous. nervous. <laughs> Let's see. So you've got £375,000 on Cancun in Mexico. You have got £625,000 on Cairo in Egypt. We're hoping that you're going to be saying goodbye to £375,000. Fingers crossed. Let's reveal the final answer to drop. Twenty-five thousand pounds. Oh. 
down here because... Wait for me! It's oh. night time in Egypt right now. Oh, it's 23 shit. degrees Celsius. It's night time in Egypt, but it's daytime in Cancun in Mexico, yeah. and it's 30 degrees because of the time differences, because oh. it's right now. Oh. Also, girls, but the positive side of it is that you still are in play. <laughs> And you still have £375,000. We've just got to hold on to that now. Move your money back. <laughs> if you'd have chosen the football question, it would have been about tonight's game, so it would have been a disaster. Oh, have girls. Yeah. Right, so two questions down. £375,000 oh. still in play. It's now time for question three of eight. So let's have a look at the categories. Oh, Politics or toys? <laughs> toys. <laughs> <laughs> toys it is! <laughs> let's have a look at the answers to the toys question. So the possible answers are... Action Man lands in Britain. Barbie meets Ken. Transformers invade Earth. Cabbage Patch Kids are born. So the question is... Which of these events happened in toy history first? So which of these events in toy history happened first? Well, I think Transformers right. well, that's is relatively new, gone, isn't it? it? That's new. Transformers is new. So you've, you're going to leave Transformers clear? Yeah. OK. <coughs> Barbie's 19... Was it 19... Countdown started. or something. Action Man lands in Britain. Oh, see now, Cabbage Patch Kids is definitely not. That's I'd, I'd say it's one of these two. Would you? Action yeah. Man and Barbie. Action Man lands in Britain, Barbie. 45 Barbie seconds. Barbie farm before Action Man. Should, well, what should we put G. on Barbie? G.I. Joe first. We don't know it, do we? Should we no. just split it? It's probably a good idea to start yeah. moving your money. 30 seconds. Should we say, do we want to go on more Barbie. on Barbie? Yeah, go more on Barbie. That one. Oh, these are watches of twenty-five thousand pounds. What are you gonna do? Uh, so you've got. I don't know. Action man. Two hundred and seventy-five thousand. No, not anymore. Should we split it. I don't know when Action Man was born. No, leave it like that. Are you know. sure? You've yeah, got four please. seconds left. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. So you easy girls. when you sat at home. I know. Easy when you know it's oh, it's easy when you're relaxed. <laughs> I think when you're tense and you've got actual real cold hard cash in your hands, it's very, very difficult. Yeah. And it's very easy to be brave when you're at home, but yeah. much harder when you're here <laughs> in the studio. It's tense. <gasps> OK, so uh, which of these events in toy history happened first? We've got Cabbage Patch Kids Are Born, Transformers Invading Earth. Those are both clear, those drops. You have put... Um, uh, £150,000 on Action Man Lands in Britain, and you've put £225,000 on Barbie Meets Ken. I think it was that one now, you know. <gasps> Which one, Zoe? I you bet, you I bet change Ken your mind. I bet Ken wasn't even mind. born. I know, yeah. <laughs> Ken wasn't born. He's not real. <laughs> Ken wasn't born. <gasps> Ken was made. He was made. Barbie, he was made. Yeah. OK, let's oh. reveal the first answer to drop. <laughs> it's going to be like... I think, I think the girls need a bit of support now from the audience. I like that. I like a little bit of support. Go and give them a cheer. Woo! Yeah. Oh, no. OK, second answer to drop. until 1982. So, we're in a win-win situation. You're going through to the next question, but with how much money? Will it be £150,000 or £225,000? We're all behind you here, Zoe, seven Lisa. <laughs> we're not on question seven. You've got a long way to go. Let's see oh. the final answer to drop. Oh, I'm going to burn action man if it's action man. <laughs> Landed 
1966. It was um, in response to the success of G.I. Joe in the US. Yeah. And uh, Barbie and Ken met in 1961, oh, just after he was born. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yes, that explains the hair, right? 1961, that, yeah. Anyway, move your money back! <laughs> Okay, so that is uh, five questions to go now. £225,000 still in play. That's a lot of money. All right, so time for question four of eight. Let's have a look at your categories. Landmarks or fashion? Fashion. Are you sure? Not really. No. <laughs> Landmarks <gasps> or fashion? Go with, go with fashion. Go with fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Go with fashion. 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 Fashion it is. So let's have a look at the answers to the fashion question. Potential answers are. Don't like it. Sophie Dahl. Eva Herzegova. Claudia Schiffer. Or Kate Moss. And the question is. Which of these models was first to feature on the cover of British Vogue? Any clue? Claudia Schiffer is the oldest. Um, should, should thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. don't, I don't think it's Sophie Dahl. The countdown starts, No, I don't girls. think it's Sophie Dahl. Has Claudia Schiffer been on Vogue? They are been on. Did they say Vogue? British Which Vogue. of these models was first to how, feature how on the cover Eva of British Eva. Vogue? Mm -hmm. I don't know, she was the Wonder Bra advert, wasn't she? Hello, boys. Should we go for Claudia Schiffer? Shielded than Kate Moss, I just think it's Kate I think you should start thinking about Ooh. moving your money. What we're thinking, come You've on, got do 30 Claudia seconds. Schiffer, I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. I'm not. What do you want to do? Oh. Do you want to gamble at all? Or should we... It's real money today. you're talking about here. I know. Do we definitely not think it's Kate Moss? 15 not seconds. Sure. Come on. Claudia Schiffer, I'm got thinking. Got to it. Or someone here. Someone Kate Moss. Someone if Kate you want to get through to question eight, you've got to gotta be brave. If you're not sure, split it. Wait, we've got four Three, seconds. What we two, do? one. <laughs> <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, my. Last so minute. That's, you know what? She'll kill you if you're wrong. You've still She'll... lost me hundred grand. She... Fifty oh, grand. Oh, don't start fighting now. Oh. Right. Okay. So, which of the models uh, here oh. were the first to feature on the cover of British Vogue? You left Sophie Dahl, Eva Herzegova. Those drops are clear. You've got a perfunctory fifty thousand pounds on Kate Moss point? and a hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds. Oh. Is that right? One hundred and seventy-five thousand. Yes. On Claudia Schiffer. Let's see the first answer to drop. Absolutely gorgeous. How are you feeling now? Slightly better, mm. but not much. How are you I don't feeling, Lisa? Because you're the one that did the last oh. minute move. <laughs> what what came over nerves, you then? Nerves, nerves. Was it nerves? <laughs> because she'll kill me if you drop. Shall we have a look at the next answer oh, to drop? Oh, God. I don't even know who she is. She was the wonder person. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It's just a question of how much you're going to be taking through. Is it going to be 50,000 or 175,000? So, Lisa, that roadster. could have been the smartest That's a new move. Roadster. That She's could have been the smartest move you've ever made. <gasps> anyway, there is £225,000 left. You're four questions in. Let's see what happens after the break. What? Oh. <laughs>
Welcome back to the Million Pound Drop Live. It is 10.34 and check this out. Look, this is real cash in used banknotes. Now, before the break, Zoe and Lisa split their money um, on the answer to the following question. Which of these models was the first to feature on the cover of British Vogue? And in literally, it was in the last, I don't know, what was it, <laughs> five seconds, Lisa suddenly just went, oh, oh, 25, oh, no, no, 50 on Kate Moss on a sort of whim and she didn't even really know why she did it, it was just nerves or whatever. Uh, but there you go, so there's £50,000 on Kate Moss and there is £175,000 on Claudia Schiffer. We know you're going through to the next question but if you're going to survive till question eight you want to go with the larger amount. That's what we need. Anyway, listen, over £6 billion online went on the right answer. That was 54% of the money available. £6 billion online, amazing. Shall we put you out of your misery, girls? Yes, please. Let's reveal the final answer to drop. Who's watching at home? I have no idea. Friends, <laughs> yeah, family, family, relatives, friends. they just imagine them at home all whooping and cheering you on. You are doing so incredibly well. Claudia Schiffer uh, was in October 1989. She was, she was, it was your first instinct was right, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. You we, just knew we it. We lost the road. Anyway, Sorry. four <laughs> questions to go. You are halfway through. You've got £175,000 still in play. How are you doing online? How's it going? Yes, only four more questions left. Uh, and we're going to change the game a little bit, actually, Ooh. now. Um, we're going to drop one of the answers, so you're going to be facing just three, uh, but you still have to keep one drop clear. OK? Now, by 11 o'clock tonight, you could actually be walking away with this oh. £175,000. If you're going to do that, you are going to have to be brave, bold soldiers, aren't they? Yeah. Come on, girls. That's what we're looking for. Great old soldiers. Right. Time now for question five of eight. Choose your category. Oh, oh. History. <laughs> I'm sorry. No one Come said it was on. going to be easy oh. to be brave, bold soldiers. History or France? I know nothing, I know about, nothing France. about France or history. Got to choose your category. Come on. I'm going to go, should we say history? history. Yeah. History it is! Right, there are three possible answers to the history question, and they are... The birth of Queen Victoria. The first ever Eurovision Song Contest. The first ever Morse code message. The question is... All these events occurred on this day in history, that's the 24th of May, obviously, but which happened earliest? All these events occurred on this day it's in history, not the Eurovision Song Contest, 24th of May, but which <laughs> happened uh, That earliest. was in the, the First World War, the first mass code thing, wasn't it? Was it Second World War, was it when radar was invented and stuff? It's got to be the best. I'm not the clock yeah. started. Oh, yeah. Go for it. You've got 40, you're going to move all of your money. Yeah, we're going to do 175, it. £175,000. This is the game you play. If you want to get to we're question gonna eight, we've got to be brave. <sighs> They're clinging on to each other. Is that <laughs> where you'd like to leave your money? We've still got 30 seconds on the clock. I think but if so. that's your what, decision, I can the stop the clock. Eurovision Song Contest? Well, not before the birth of Queen Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> and it definitely was. 20 now, seconds. Wasn't it? I hope not now. Are you £175,000 £175, sure? Coming up to 10 seconds left. Let's do it. You're doing it. The crew of the Venus. 
<laughs> I do. I love this kind of play because this is all or nothing. You're not 100% sure, but you're just going for we it because really you want the clue. most amount of money to go through to the end. <laughs> OK, let's have a look. These events <gasps> occurred on this day in history, the 24th of May, but which happened the earliest? Uh, the first ever Eurovision Song Contest and the first ever Morse code message have been left clear. And you've put all of your money, all £175,000, <laughs> on the birth of Queen Victoria. Let's she reveal the young. first answer to drop. She was old, man. <laughs> <laughs> first ever Eurovision Song Contest was in 1956. Oh. They even go in Switzerland. So it's all or nothing now. Oh. It's not certain whether you're going to go through to the next question. If you are, it will be with £175,000. It'll be very well played. Let's reveal the final answer to drop. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm chasing. Yeah! Oh! 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 I love it. It's all right to even tell them to move their money back. Oh, 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 Here we go. Oh, I've got all my stats to give you. I've got all my stats to give you. I haven't even told you to move the money back. <laughs> Sorry. But literally, the Sorry. minute they've got the money, they're like... Take it, it's take it the door, take Anyway, the door. Queen Victoria was born in London on May the 24th, 1819. Just thought I'd educate you all as whilst you're grabbing your money back. <laughs> we do it real. Right, we've got three questions to go, girls. Come on, there's £175,000 still in play. It's now time for on, question man. six of eight. Choose your category. Religion what? or royalty? This gets worse. Religion or royalty? That's the point. <laughs> it's supposed to get a bit harder. There's a lot of money at stake. Uh, do you know? We need your about decision, royalty? girls. Religion or royalty? I'm going to have to push you sure for a decision. Religion. I'm going to have really? to flip a coin if you don't decide. Do you want to pick one? Royalty. Okay. Royalty, it <laughs> is. Okay. So the three answers to the royalty question are: seventy-fifth birthday. Annus Horribilis. Don't laugh, so. <laughs> That's now. Golden Jubilee. <laughs> the question is... Which of these occurred most recently for Queen Elizabeth II? Do you know this? Which of these occurred uh, uh, most uh, uh, recently for Queen Elizabeth uh, II? Golden Jubilee. Do you think why? Well, I'm not sure. Well, why do you think that, then? Because it was covered all over the television, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't watch TV. The clock started. How old, is she? How old is she? Which of these occurred most recently for Queen Elizabeth what the second? What's that? The Queen Mother was in her 90s, wasn't she, when she died? Do you think there are any that you might be able to rule out? We don't know what anus is. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's not anus. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it, Davina. <laughs> it's, it's anus. 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 Corrected. Oh. 75th birthday, Girls, Golden you've Jubilee. got... Which I just 20, coming up to which, 20 seconds to move your money. You've got to start moving your money, I'm afraid. Don't forget, should you really have to leave one drop clear. Well, should we just do it, dude? Pick an answer. 15. Oh, do you want to split it or keep it? Quick. Split, split it over the two. 100,000 on this, six, then, if you're not sure. 5, oh. 4, 3, 2, yeah. 1! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just... Please, can we just discuss... What were you trying to do just then? Oh. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> were you just going to move another 25 over to here? Just she leaving was. it out of touch. Is, is that the OCD was, coming through? I think it was more oh, attached oh, OCD. Just... So, OK, one of these... Uh, uh, which of these occurred most recently for Queen Elizabeth II? Oh, You've left oh, Annas, Annas, no Horribilis, no, uh, no free. Idea. We've got £50,000 on the Queen's 75th birthday. And we've got £125,000 on the Golden Jubilee. Let's reveal the first answer to drop. £50,000. Oh. But can I just say something? Thank the Lord that that last £25,000, and now all we have to pay oh. for is that it is Golden Jubilee. That's where all your money is. The £125,000. Anna Sorobel is completely clear. It's all or nothing. Let's reveal... I don't know, 
the final <laughs> answer to drop. <gasps> oh, my Lord. Are you still in the game? Please. Oh, the bad year, that's what it means, the bad oh, year. The bad Annas is bad. Year, I mean, year, <laughs> Annas is year. Um, was in, and Horribliss is bad, you see. 1992, and that was the year that they saw the big fire in Windsor and obviously the whole thing with Charles and Diana. And um, the Queen celebrated her 50 years on the throne in 2002. So, move your money back! <laughs> Girls, I, I, if I'm really, really honest with you, I wasn't sure at the beginning of the game that I would see you get this far. But look, no there way. are two <laughs> questions to go, and you still have oh. £125,000 still in play. It's fantastic. Now, so you have reached the seventh question of the million pound drop. Absolutely brilliantly played. There's just two questions that comes between you and getting this money. So, getting this question right. Whatever money you get in this next question, you take through to the final game, and that's what you could be taking home with you. So this is really important, this question. All right, so it's time for question seven of eight. Your categories are words or pop stars. Pop stars. Words or pop stars. OK. Do you really know pop stars? Not the other but I know nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're going to go with pop stars. Pop stars it is. So the answers to the pop stars question are Robbie Williams, Michael Jackson, Madonna. And the question is, who was the oldest when they achieved their first solo UK number one single? So who was the oldest when they achieved their first UK number one single? I think it was Madonna because Robbie... Oh, no, it might have been Robbie Williams because he, he was in Take That for ages, wasn't he? Any money you take through at this stage, you could take through to the final Michael question. Michael Jackson was only young, it. it wasn't Michael Jackson because okay. he was it with the Jackson family. How old was Madonna? So was she was Lucky Star. She was only about 19, 20, something like that. I think, it's I think it's Robbie Williams. <laughs> Let's Is there one that you can eliminate? Don't forget that you really want to get through Jackson. this question. No. Yeah. Because whatever um, you take through to the next question, I don't think it was Madonna. Oh, you could oh, be taking home with you. What was the first number? 20 one seconds. You've got to start that moving the money, girls. Go. Time's click ticking away. Should 15 just do seconds. It Give it and pray. Five yes. seconds. <laughs> Who was the oldest when they achieved their first solo UK number one single? Oh, God. So you've left Madonna clear, you've left Michael Jackson clear, you have gambled your £125,000 on Robbie Williams. We so badly want you to get through to question eight. So do we. <laughs> Let's reveal the first answer to drop. Oh. So it's all oh. or nothing. It's all or nothing. It's Madonna oh, or Robbie Williams. We're praying for you. I bet it's bloody Madonna now. Shall we reveal the final drop? Number one 
was when he was a fresh-faced 24-year-old, but you won't believe it. Madonna was 26 when she oh, had it into the groove. Oh, no. She looked 19. Girls, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Oh, so near right. right. and yet so far. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Big round of applause, please, for Zoe and Lisa. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me in your hands up. Oh. What an awful Zoe look. Top of the set there. Right, we're going to find out who's next up to face the million pound drop in just four minutes. I'll see you then. drop live it is 10 54 it's so exciting because of this this is a million pounds in real cash and before the break Zoe and Lisa crashed out on question seven it was absolutely heartbreaking um, but there's still some of you online who still have a million pounds in play after seven questions so that's pretty amazing anyway next up to try and beat the million pound drop are Dean and Antoinette from Essex <laughs> Dean is 35 and Antoinette is 36. They're husband and wife from Essex. Dean works in IT support and Antoinette is a housewife. <laughs> yes, go on, go on. Touch it, touch it. <laughs> Welcome to the million pound drop. Now, guys, um, do you understand the rules? Yes. Yep. Here is your million pounds. You've got to keep hold of it over eight questions. Uh, you've got one million pounds. I've got eight questions. Let's play the million pound drop. <laughs> I love you guys already. You're like, <laughs> Woo -hoo! I totally love Antoinette already. She's like, come on. Okay, here are your categories. Okay. Showbiz or current affairs? Showbiz. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that, yeah. Showbiz. Showbiz it is. So let's have a look at the four answers, possible answers to the showbiz question. They are... Fabio Capello. Simon Cowell. Graham Norton. Jon Snow. The question is... This morning, who tweeted, all the girls were brilliant and should continue to chase their own rainbows. Danielle is perfect. Danielle, Danielle, um, Danielle. I'd say Simon Cowell. That was an over the rainbow. Over the rainbow, yeah. But is that a Simon Cowell show? This is morning, that's... who tweeted, all the girls were brilliant and should continue to chase their own rainbows. Well, I wish that was Danielle that is that perfect. Okay. Is, that, yeah. is that a Simon, Simon Cowell show? It's not Simon Cowell's show, it's, um, it's uh... BBC One. Graham Norton. Okay. Should we put it on him? Or okay. Was okay, he... the clock started. You've got 45 Let's seconds left money. to move Why your money. There's Norton? an awful lot. It's a million there? pounds uh, in he's play. He's on BBC One mainly, isn't he? Uh, John Snow is... Uh, what was he? I is thought John Snow was... Uh, yeah, but I thought he was like the... Uh, we'll start putting someone in that one as well. Coming up for 30 Fit. seconds. Oh, that one okay. Well. How much should we put in that one? It looks like we're going pretty 50 but I'm sure it wasn't really a Simon Cowell thing, though. Right. But I don't sure. really, I don't really know what What are you thinking, thinking, guys? We're thinking... That one? We're not, OK, it's not Fabio. It's definitely not OK, you're going to leave him. Fabio off? Yeah. So How worst comes Snow? to the worst... Should you put a couple in John Snow as well? You've got... Just in case. Oh, but we can't just put a couple. Ten seconds. No way a You've got to move your around. money, guys. Okay, Quickly. Move. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh! There's money all over the shop. Oh. It's the very oh, yeah. first question. It was very, very tense. This morning, the question was, who tweeted? All the girls were brilliant. Should con chase, continue to chase their own rainbow. Danielle is perfect. Was it Fabio Capello? You didn't think so. No you left way. that drop clear. You've got £200,000 on Jon Snow. Dean, I know. Now oh, I say it out loud. Yeah. Now I say that out loud. Two hundred thousand yeah, pounds sounds like a lot of money, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got um, three hundred thousand pounds on Simon Cowell, and five hundred thousand pounds on Graham Norton. Oh. How are you feeling? 
Well, we don't think it's Fabio. We, we know it's not Fabio. <laughs> so you've done so, the right thing yeah. Yeah. to spread yeah. your yeah. money. If you want to go yeah. through to the next question, spread your money. Okay, yeah. let's reveal the first answer to drop. There was no need to put money on him. <laughs> 200,000. Wow. Dean, what did you just say? There was no need to put money okay. on him. So it why just... did you do it? Just unsure. Because it's stressful. It's stressful. His last tweet was on the 20th of May, and it was peddling away from, uh, <laughs> from One Way Street. That's oh. what his tweet said. Okay. Thanks, John. OK, let's reveal okay. the next answer to drop. And the yeah. question is, will you be going through with 500, half a million pounds? Yeah. Or will it be with 300,000 pounds? Half a million. Whichever way, half a million. it's a half women's million. situation. Um, let's reveal the final answer to drop. Yeah. See, it sounds like a Simon Cowell thing to say, doesn't it? Well... Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so let me just explain. Simon Cowell's last tweet on the March sixth on March the sixteenth was shopping with Megan is harder than anything I've ever done. Poor man. Oh right, yeah. Get the credit card <laughs> out. Come on, Cal. <laughs> um, but actually, it was Graham Norton, yeah. um, so presenter of the Over the Rainbow show. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you guys, I think you knew that really in your heart, but you're just a bit just nervous, weren't you? Yeah. Like so yeah. Who's watching at home? Uh, oh, parents. Brothers and sisters. You've got a lot of brothers and sisters, uh, haven't yeah, you, Dean? Yeah. You're one of eight, aren't you? One of eight, the youngest Fantastic. of eight. Fantastic. <laughs> so, listen, have you learned anything about playing today that you might take away with you for tomorrow? Because we're going to have to come back to you tomorrow evening. Yeah. Oh, so definitely. What do you I mean, think? this moment here has taught me a lot. It's just, what? What's that? Just try and stay calm and composed and go with your gut, because our gut was definitely yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then the panic, seeing the money, feeling it, smelling it, you just... Oh, yeah. So yeah. you can you smell seeing it and smelling it. <laughs> yes, but absolutely. you can take that and bring that back tomorrow. Most yeah. definitely. And we'll look oh, forward yeah. to playing with you then. Anyway, we're still in play, but that's all we've got time for tonight. So join us tomorrow night, live at 10pm, here on Ford, to see if Dean and Antoinette can keep hold of this half a million pounds <laughs> remember you could also be up here with me battling it out to win a million pounds later on in the week find out how channel4.com forward slash drop thank you for joining us here tonight we'll see you and we'll see you tomorrow good night <laughs>